and welcome back to another cup of Joe and Dakota. Happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. Yeah, all you all you mothers. Yeah, doing great. I love to hear what you guys are doing for Mother's Day. What kind of coffee you're drinking? What kind of breakfast you guys are making up there? Kind of espresso, y'all. Espresso. Part of. Yes, espresso here. Um, so today we are going to discuss a difference between bombs and butters, mm -hmm. beer bombs. That more is more in depth on the bombs. More in depth. Yep. Uh, we discuss this week's newsletter of lemonade. Lemonade, and we give our take on. Kith and Kin's roasting company, Espresso. From New Mexico. Which is in the United States. It's in the United States. We'll circle back to that in a second. But, but hey, New Mexico, you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. So, if you want to look all did up this week or today for a Mother's Day, what kind of beer product would you use? I don't look done up to you. Huh? I don't look that up to you today. I said, if you are going to look all did up, like... Look, I don't look all did up to oh, you. Wait, this is a did up to you? Rhetorical. <laughs> well, I can tell you, the night before, I would have used some beard butter. Okay. Why? Because this is going to... This is like the conditioner of life. Right? For your beard. I, I, I like, like that. This is used. This one's been used because we use our products around here, ladies and gentlemen. But it, it's a butter. Like, it looks like butter. It's going to be butter. Like, it's... 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 it's, it's Anyway, but so this, this is not going to have beeswax in it. We personally put three different butters in there, right? They're the first ingredients. We don't put any water because, what? We don't want water in our, no. Water doesn't do anything. No. Nope. Water's great to drink. There we go. And to make lemonade, but we'll, that's later in the video. But what? you don't want to put water in that. It's all organic. And it's the best damn beard butter. You got anything to add to that, Joe? Um, the other thing is, uh, besides being the best damn beer butter in our product, is that uh, when you distinguish between a balm and a butter, usually uh, the butter will not have beeswax or oh, linoleum okay. or some kind of sticky just substance. Jumping into the other I'm stuff. Just, I'm just jumping right into it. So the, the beer balm, this one's this one's going to be a little more... Waxy. Wa waxy. A little more on the thick side. Yep. Like you kind of have to get in there and try and get some on your finger. Mm -hmm. And then... And then here's the beauty of it. You gotta, you gotta really kind of get personal with it, Joe. You gotta kind of sit there, rub it in for a second, get it, get it nice and smooth, right? personal so, like that. Then it's gonna, it's gonna get on your hands like this, and then you're just gonna, and that's gonna, what, what I use at least, and I feel like you do too. It's, it's more for, kind of the, the more of the styling, mm -hmm. like the sculpting, you could right. say, yeah, that right? Makes sense. Like. It's going to go on there, and it's not really, you, I, you can get it in there, like, as you, my very long beard here, but I've noticed the last couple, a couple of days, Joe, it's, my, mine's at the length now, where it's just long enough that I can get, like, that, like, bed beard thing going on. Are you saying that you're about, about two months right now? Yeah, like right there. About, right there, uh, about yeah. 60 days-ish. Yeah, you guys are going to learn more about that this next week, if you follow us on any social media. Anyway. Just a fun fact there. But anyway, mm -hmm. it's like at the point now where I'm getting that bed beard. Okay. Right? And like, if you if you have a beard, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, for those of you that have hair out there, um, bed head. <laughs> right? Like, I don't got to deal with that anymore, but I just took that from my head and put it on my face. There and now are. I got to deal with it. Right? What am I grabbing in the morning after my shower if that pesky freaking hair because I sleep on the side of my face just doesn't want to cooperate? What? Beard bump. This stuff right here. You can't go wrong with it. It's 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 great for getting those little wispies, right? I mean, I that's at least what I use it for. I know you kind of because you're you've got that beautiful mane of yours. I know you kind of use it a little different. You want to you know, tell everybody how you use it, Joe? So um, I've been using it more now mm -hmm. since I got some constructive feedback in, in a prior video, but but uh, I use it to get the curls out. So I have so many curls underneath mm -hmm. that uh, this helps uh, kind of straighten everything out. It makes it more I want to call it representable, or, or excuse me, not representable, presentable, but um, that's kind of what I'm using it for right now. I will say it looks a lot longer lately. It does look longer. It looks Since more full. Since you got it shaped, it look... It does look more full mm -hmm. when you use a balm, in my opinion, mm -hmm. because it kind of just brings everything together mm -hmm. instead of just having everything all over the place. So if, uh, to that respect, and to the I mean, respect... Give everybody one of these guys. See, it's just, it's holding the shape. It's not like right. rigid, like... 
you know, those crazy guys that do the crazy beard contest, you know, you're probably going to have to go more of a, a, a wax, wax, wax. wax. Yeah. And like, I don't, I don't know if that's an everyday use because I know with my, try, try getting that stuff you know, out every day. Mustache wax, you know, you'll, you'll see me every once in a while go crazy with it. But right. for the most part, just keep it simple. Yep. You know, and that's more of a wax too because anyway, we won't get into that. We're talking about the bombs right now, but it, it gives, like I said, it takes away the wispies. The little random one-offs that are going crazy. I'm just gonna do this for you. Yeah, so take care of your your canopy. I was of the outer part with some uh, a beer balm. Mm-hmm. We also add a little bit of spice, pizzazz, if you will. No. Uh, we put some. Uh, oh, I thought really. I was hoping. <laughs> I was hoping for like some crazy thumbs up. Hey, like like the video. Damn, it's not gonna work. So he's trying to get the. There, there AI part of this whole some, thing going. Some part, but man, Anyways, it doesn't like me. Uh, the raspberry oil in here is going to give you some UV protection for the sun. Um, the sun's always extracting the moisture minerals from us, mm. and this is just going to um, offset that, prolong a little bit longer. Who knew? And, Raspberries. And Raspberries. keep your uh, beard a little bit more healthier. So, uh, if you want to style it, look good for the mama, uh, your wife, um, you your, your actual mom. UV protection on yep. your face. Just a little you that's beer balm and beer butter uh a beer butter for conditioning beer balm for styling and basically Night, morning yeah. yeah easy way to look at it mm-hmm. just the extra little 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 something right little, little. speaking of a little something joe yeah your newsletter this week or our newsletter but you're the you're the uh what a confidant at it you're the you have the final say yep Dude, talk about a quote that I have heard a million times. I think we all have. And you completely flipped it on its head and made me look at it from a completely different perspective. Okay. You want to you hint at what you told everybody? What, what kind of the newsletter is about this week? So we title it A Lemonade. Mm-hmm. And it comes off the saying, when life you know, gives you lemons, you make lemonade out of it. Because we all know lemonade is better. Right. You, you get lemons. more from it. You get more from it. And the whole idea is basically... Best lemonade and go. Snapple. No. Snapple. No. Snapple's the best lemonade. No. Disagree, sir. You ever had Kirkland lemonade? Costco? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Way better. Who does that? Anyway, I, I like it. It's funny. I don't is like... Is even Kirkland's little lemonade? I don't lemonade? like acidity in coffee, but when it comes to lemonade, I don't want it to be sweet. I don't want it to be sweet. But anyway, sorry. Let us know your favorite lemonade in the comments, because I would love to find out where everybody's at. Anyway. Before, Snapple. Anyways, no. um, yeah. So the the, <laughs> uh, the whole idea is to skip the whole entire negative part mm-hmm. of the lemon part and just go straight to the good stuff, the lemonade. Yeah. Um, look at the brighter side. Like for example, uh, uh this week we've had spring and winter four times. Four, uh, maybe had, five, maybe six. Uh, <laughs> I lost track after well, like the first ten. <laughs> the first day we got four inches of snow and the next day it melted but we got hail and snow and rain and sunshine and temperatures were fluctuating and that's been happening all week long. There was one morning I went out to let the dogs out. Had my winter coat. The next morning, I was like, dude, I wore that out there and I was like, it's too damn hot. I had to unzip it like I was dying. Anyway. Uh, so I usually will record videos um, for like Beards and Gear yeah, that Monday or Tuesday, just in case something happens or I need to add something or whatever, I have time to fix it. Well, Mother Nature was not agreeing with me to do anything outside. So I made a plan. The worst case scenario, um, I'd, I'd have to do it inside. Uh, best case scenario, I'd have to do it almost the day of. Mm. And bum, bum, bum. No mistakes. But the thing is, I could have you know stared out the window and complained about it and everything like that. But then I looked at my nice long list of things I haven't gotten done. Um, that it's not procrastination, mm. but it's th- just a list of things you would like to get done. And I got those things done, or some of those things done. And cool job. if I would have been just, you know, crying over lemons, if that's a thing, um, I would never got anything done. Most mm. likely, I would not have had a plan to get that beards and gear done. And I could have just, you know, chalked up, oh, it's the weather's fault. There's many things that are not in our control. And as soon as we get past that whole notion of, what we can and what we cannot control, mm-hmm. it's a quicker step towards make a lemonade. So, in the just, um, in more eloquent way, uh, in the newsletter, I, I try to spell it out. This guy may kind of eh on camera, but when he writes, yeah, he provokes a certain thought in your head that makes you really think. 
And I'll say this, the newsletter is worth your time. You will get something out of it, whether you realize it at the moment or a couple hours later, a couple days later, <coughs> the last two, him making you kind of look at something that we all know from a different perspective, it provokes a thought. In the last two days, or the last two, two weeks that I've read this newsletter, it's done just that, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, he just, he just adds a little sprinkle in there. Just a little something. And in case you don't know, our newsletter is free. Mm-hmm. Um, you can un- unsubscribe anytime you want. Whatever. All the links down at the bottom. Uh, I want them. The, uh, the whole idea is to bring value, not just, you know, bulk beer products or anything, but just to your life in general. And it gives you um, some insights on the way I think, the way we think, the way we do business, and just our approach in general, mm-hmm. and just to get to know us more. So, and, you know, like Dakota said, sometimes I'm not the most eloquent person on camera, uh, but at the same time, uh, the thought process and the ideas on paper really come out uh, when you look at it in that different mm-hmm. respect right there. Mm-hmm. So and that's not a dig of Joe's. He's just I, he's a little, no, little clunky. So, I mean, me too. But uh, no, I know my him more because he's old. I know my strengths. I know my weaknesses, and this is probably my more weaknesses. But then he, writing those, it's something I gotta do. It's so. a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. But um, you know what's also beautiful, Joe? Espresso, espresso, oh, espresso. Man. Calm down, calm down. It's okay. It's okay. That beard, well, that beard is. Hey, hey, you know one thing that is be- beautiful. Oh. In case you haven't seen, I'm not sure if it's gonna be visible tonight. If you haven't seen the Aurora Borealis um, on the say night sky, that ten times fast, I'm not going to say it. Please make my day. Aurora Borealis. <laughs> you say it's lower. <laughs> or the Northern Lights. Yeah, Northern Lights. Um, Northern Lights. They're out there. Um, if you can get yourself into a dark space out in, you know, the country there, I think it's going to be visible from anywhere in the country, even down to Florida. God, that would be cool. So um, for some people, this may be the only time you may ever see this in your mm-hmm. lifetime. And uh, last night... They were seen it out here in Utah. Oh, so oh, maybe I'm gonna venture outside. But what I've heard as a trick, you may not see with your naked eye, but if you put if you have a more a modern iPhone, you can see it through the camera on your iPhone. So, anyways, if you're in um, with all that light pollution out there, if you can get yourself in a darker area, you know, put your phone up there, you might catch the aurora, aurora oh. poorly, Alice. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna try it. I'm, not, I'm laughing, but I'm not trying. <laughs> but it'd be really cool thing if you've never seen it before. Mm-hmm. I grew up in Wisconsin. I've seen it many times. Um, no, I also say bag. So I mean, there's a trade off. Anyways, um, so check it out. It's beautiful. But another thing that's beautiful is Kith and Kin. So Kith and Kin's is trifecta. trifecta. So it's three of something. Woo. And yes, like I said earlier, New Mexico is in the United States. Yeah, that was a, Such, a, a good dry humor right there. Oh my god, I'm, they, they won me over with that. Right. Good dry humor. So, Joe. Yeah. We all know my take on acidity in coffee. Yes. It's got to be there. I understand that. But when it's a little more present, a little more of the the heading tasting note, we all know I'm not a fan. Right. You, on the other hand. Yes. You're all about it. Absolutely. Tell us more about this espresso, Joe. So, this espresso um, comes in at a medium roast, mm-hmm. which I think it nails that. Um, but it does have a little bit of acidity, which you would... Find in a light roast. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't say it's overpowering. Like, mm-hmm. it's not leaving a strong, like, oh, like, aftertaste of acidity. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's got chocolate, honey, uh, blackberry, and what else did it say it had? Uh, uh, and just medium acidity. And medium acidity. Um, I get everything but the blackberry, but mm-hmm. I think I might get lost in the acidity a little bit. Mm. And, like, overall, as a very neutral espresso... And this is what they're going for, by the way. So mm-hmm. they're nailing what they want you to be um, tasting or feeling. Mm-hmm. So they do a good job in that. It, it, it's really a good type of espresso to mix with. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, uh, what do you think about that? Like, uh, uh, like mixing it in something. So Joe. Yeah. Joe, my, like, like I hinted at, it's it's got the acidity. It's not like an insane acidity, but it's enough there that kind of. I kind of want to like turn me away, but because we've been doing this channel and I've had so many different ones, personally, mm-hmm. I think this is going to make a great Americano. Okay. Or my other biased opinion, sure, yeah, very biased because it involves alcohol. Oh, okay. For you, twenty-one plus audience out there, this one to make an espresso martini. Okay. Oh my God, I think I, with the the just the just enough acidity, I feel like it's going to stand up in there. Okay. And oh. I'm, I'm going to take some home tonight, Joe, so I can make one for me and the wife because cool. 
I think it's going to do wonders there. But as far as the chocolate, the honey, the blackberry, the acidity, clearly the acidity is there. I get the chocolate. I get the honey. And you can get you can get the blackberry gel if you, if you, if you, get, you get It's a process, though. You got to go to... I mean, I got allergies right now and everything, so maybe I just can't taste it because of my allergies. Look, look, look. And then you get the blackberry. But you got to you kind of kind of work for it. You got to okay. kind of work for it. From what I get, you guys are just trying to have a good straightforward no bullshit good espresso at least in this and I, i'd have to agree with joe it, it's a good i would say I, I would i would have to agree but disagree with joe on it's a good neutral but i would say the one from colorado is a good baseline this is a great next step so if you want to say baseline here and then neutral here because it's got a it's it's got a little more dividing taste to it right it's got the acidity in it it's a little more on the more you can take a little more of the being concentrated a little more (coughs) so it's a little bit more complex a little bit yeah a little bit more complex a little bit more espresso okay not so much coffee but more espresso gotcha last espresso we had this espresso is a great second step if you're getting it you want to get into the espresso world you're evolving your taste buds mm-hmm. just like me and Joe are. This is a great second step, I feel. And for that, and this right here, it's in the United. That part kills me. I love it. I and it's a cr- cool name too, Kith and Ken. Which uh, reading on the box there, it means uh, what does it say? Acquaintances and relatives. Kith and Ken is yeah. old English, right? Yeah. It's a cool name. It sounds cool. It, the box looks cool. Well, there's a lot of thought that went into it. I mean, it's enough to provoke you to get it off the shelf and then look at the side. And I, I mean, I don't know. I always turn everything to the left because, one, we're in the U.S., so we read everything left to right. And right. two, I'm left-handed, so it's just I grab everything with my right hand and turn to the left. That's what I do. It's on the left side of the box, and they're already being a smartass. I'm sold. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a smartass when it comes to most things. I'm sold. I, you guys got me. You're all about what you you, you, you're, you follow exactly what the coffee's about. Or the espresso, whatever, mm-hmm. whichever product we're doing. And you guys are smart as I'm sold. I'm done. Kith and Ken, you got my vote. I'm I'm with you guys. Oh man, I'm really trying for that. that that's that's not gonna happen. The whole animation thing. Hey, but I'll do it like I'd oh. punch you. I'd have punched you if that would have what about pizza? No. Oh man, I just look stupid. Hey, just don't confuse it. I'm sorry. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Kith and Ken's got my thumb up. So a thought like going forward, when we get an espresso from one of these um uh, 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 roasters. I think we should probably try to get w- one of their straight coffees also, mm. so we can compare and contrast. Because espressos are always a blend, mm-hmm. or yeah, they're always a blend. And your typical drip coffees, it may not be a blend. Mm-hmm. So we can get the That's best fair. of both worlds okay. and, and give a good, um, I don't know, uh, evaluation okay. between the two. Yeah. So maybe something in the future to think about when we go for an espresso. That, that could be fun. And that's a lot of caffeine, by the way. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, I, I had to take the kitty cup. Joe's over there freaking drinking it like it's going out of style. But I had to take the kitty cup and do two shots of espresso because this guy is crazy. Let's do four. Well, I do it like this. So well, anyway. well, I don't drink sodas and I don't drink Red Bulls or, mm, or, better, or energy drinks. So coffee is my better. energy. Um, he drinks so, yeah. a lot. He drinks a lot of it. But um, anyway, anyways, so once again, happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. You moms, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for doing what you do. We appreciate it so very much. And you guys uh, are saints. With that, Joseph, Dakota, have a great week. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>